Welcome back, Wolf Pack. We're playing Inscription again. I'm, I swear, uh, this is uh, this is a game I would not mind being reincarnated into. Uh, let's see, let's see. So uh, I was doing my usual day, my my usual thing. Shower. Uh, I haven't emptied the dishwasher yet. I'll have to get on that eventually. Um, schoolwork. Uh, just took out the trash. You know, the normal day stuff. And I thought, you know. Where else could I get those sigils from? For the safe? I mean... I played... The game. Sure. Uh... I destroyed a bunch of his cards. Sure. But did I destroy all of his cards? No. There was one card... That I just... Did not kill. Now, I'm sure this practice dummy thinks, I've got this kid fooled. There's no way he's beating this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna soft lock this kid into a room with no escape. Well, guess what, buddy? Guess what? I've got an idea. And I'm pretty confident in it, too. Bring it. We destroyed tons of his cards. One with a flying sigil. One was a ruby mox with a movement sigil. Knocks with the movement sigil. I didn't even think about that. See, see, I'm already gotten the ideas. But another card we didn't destroy was this one with a sigil that we can't use. That we we don't know. We can't. It's not in the safe. It's not around any of the locks. So I'm thinking, what if we break it? What if we break it? Hmm. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, not quite what I'm looking for. Well, I mean, I, I can just, it, it's one damage at a time, but it works. All right. Wait, what? It can't be hit! What? Let's try something. Let's try something a little strong. What? Don't have it. Okay, fine. But. Okay. What do I have now? Not that one. These two. What? Um... Well, okay then. Uh... Not quite what I was imagining would occur. Let's see if we can get a card that does damage to wipe out his other- There it is, Mantis God, you'll do. No, I know, I just sacrificed him and gained nothing except from bones from it. But. We can't destroy it. 
burst the movement sigil. Ruby Mox pushed it. Since the flying sigil comes after the Ruby Mox, let's try something like this. I didn't even think about the movement sigil on the Ruby Mox until now. Movement, movement sigil. It pushed the card next to it over, so maybe that works too. Then the flying sigil. Nothing's working. What sigil? One of these is either not in the right spot or something. That or another sigil came before this one. Wait a minute. Okay, actually no. Never mind. I was I was like, wait, is the floor the sigil? Uh but we know it's movement, then flying and something. We don't know if this is so wait, what if flying is there? Cycle through. What if movement's there? Oh. It worked. Are you are you okay? Yo, kid, are, are you good? Just imagine. You are an... Ice... You are an ice cube. Why would I imagine being an ice cube? Sir, or ma'am, I'm not entirely sure, You're, you appear to be in the body of a practice dummy. Oh. I was only talking to myself. The, the pain of being a head impaled on a... Oh. Oh my god, you're right. You're you're literally just a head on a spear. I thought you were an entire practice on me for a second. Uh poor kid. Okay. Well, it is worth it, of course. Really? Are are you sure? Magnificus will award me the highest honor. Really? For sitting there on a spear, I mean, I guess staying alive is pretty impressive. I mean, you're not even losing any blood. Uh, are, but are you sure about that? You don't seem like you're very okay. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. You're you want him to turn you into a card? I mean... what? Well, whatever dream you got, kid, man, just, just go with it, but... Are you sure you want to spend the rest of your existence as a card? Not a player? I, again, you do you. I, I can respect it. You, you got your own plans and stuff, but... Wow. That's, that's not what I imagined. Uh, what do we got? That's a mox. These are clearly its mages. One one, one one. Wait, does that mean they're one ones without the mox? That means they'll be, that one's a one three. If that's correct, then you'll be a, a you'll be a two one and you'll be a two three.
this kid's a lot stronger. Okay. Let's get you set up for defense. Energy cast. Oh, right, you. Okay. Uh, then yeah, it's all good. How much health you got left? Two. So you can still have another round. That Mox isn't actually doing anything. Its its color doesn't match these guys. It appears to be a diamond mox of some sort, so probably like, but but its signet is orange. Well, its signet is it, for me. It looks half orange, half, uh, like a quarter green, a quarter yellow, or something. But my point is, these guys aren't that mox color. Huh. Interesting. Oh, right. Uh, I've got another cat if I need it. Oh, wait. He's about to send in. Oh, I'm glad I looked. It's a 1-1. One, one. So that cat's gonna die. They're both gonna die. I just wasted it. Oh wait, no, I put him in front of a mox. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, you're a blood cost. Let's see. Oh, yeah, another tank. Wow, actually, that is that is exactly what I needed. Actually, you're gonna leap to intercept the strikes. Uh, if this one dies, he's gonna send in a... And I'm willing to bet that is this one's color, so it'll be a 1-1. One, one. A six... Bone cost. Don't have enough bone. Do you have enough energy? I don't. I'm about to take some damage. That's okay. I knew it was co I knew that's it's fine. I knew it was coming. I call it. Now, you are a 1-3. But I would much rather play that. But I can't. Do I have enough energy? 2-3. Five energy. I can play you, however. Alright. Uh, you're a 1 3, so the guy on the right doesn't die. But he doesn't KO you. You can. If you survive long enough, you might be able to take out the guy behind it. Uh. That's a Mox. That. I don't want it boosting these guys, but at the same time, like, he'll pretty much insta-break it. Wait, it's actually the same mox as that. If that thing's boosting either of these, they'll have a turn of double. Or I could KO you. In comes the zero one mage. I don't know what mox it's focused on, but... I think it's best if I wipe out one of his moxes before all hell breaks loose. Mm. Stop. Oh, 
Okay. I want you to block. They both only deal one. Then, I don't know, sit in front of that guy. That might have been a mistake, actually, now that I think about it. Uh. So, if I set you in front of him, you're gonna take one damage, and die, unless you hit him, which you will, killing them both. Wait, what? No. He was supposed to kill them both. Instantly. That one's a bone cost. That one's a blood cast. A tank blood cast. That's actually pretty good. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh wait, no wonder he didn't hit that one. We put the energy one there. He hit you, the Mox, and this guy. Cutting his health down a bit. That makes so much sense. I I'm just disappointed in myself for not realizing it sooner, actually. Um, One blood cast that creates a rabbit pelt. Oh well, a, that creates a rabbit. Thank goodness. Okay. Our cards are surviving. Kinda. Okay, your health is way higher. You're basically like that guy, but at full. So then, which one do we heal? You're a rabbit, so... You'll save us in any situation, but... I'll play you the rabbit hell. Well, the rabbit. We're back to normal. I don't think this kind of play is gonna work forever, <laughs> you know? But I don't think it needs to, hold on. You're an energy cost. We've got all six energy. You're two two. That is a straight shooter, so you're gonna just smack through both of them. And you, my friend, you're not gonna do anything. We destroyed that wizard's mox. We destroyed this wizard's mox. So he can't do anything. Our cat is safe to just sit there. Overkill damage. Did nothing. He's a mox? I don't get it. Oh wait, no. No, the mox is what moved forward. Okay, everything's, everything's fine. The mox is what moves forward. Uh, we'll use... That cat as a meat shield. Sorry cat, I'm doing this for like all my guns at the moment. But this is our- this is a winning course. One blood creeps a rabbit. Yes! I can't believe that this is a viable strategy with this deck. There we go. You good? If, if you find a way to get your body back, maybe you should go get a different dream other than being someone's literal playing card. In a game. That is... In all honesty. Based on your opponent's draw and not on your own skill. I mean, dude, I've got no skill. I made it this far. 
So let's be real. There's there's no way anyone's struggling with. We got another undying cat, but we also got an energy cost of, of one that has no ability since it's just a, a one turn tank. You know, maybe I actually do play those, because, uh, again, they're only one energy. And they, they it really supports our whole tank the strikes and go wild strategy. These guys are all based on moxes. That is a double mox in one card. So that supports two different mages at the same t two different colors of mage at the same time. Uh... That that one is a is a two one, but requires one of the circle moxes to play. You know, with enough cards, you could actually make a good wizard deck. Now that I'm seeing that some support two, some already have good stats and don't really need a mox, but require a mox to play. You know, some some of these some of the wizard cards are actually pretty impressive when combined. But if that robot guy wants synergy, hey, just look at Magnificus, look at Magnificus's tower and boom. The note reads, the button sigil is, wait a minute. Wasn't the robot from before talking about a sigil that works like a button? Or was that was that the, the scribe, the, the beast scribe? The button sigil is found by the heart the heart of he the button sigil is found by the heart of hearing. Or by those by by those who hear too easily the button sigil is found by those hard of hearing or those who hear too easily Sigil? The middle sigil. Oh, could that have been the bottom sigil? <laughs> Was I reading that wrong? The middle sigil is found by those. It's found by the hell. What? I don't, I don't understand. Whoa! The top sigil is found by the greedy. Oh! Card pack? Yeah! It's just a rabbit. It's just... Well, I'm equipping that right now. I mean, it's it's a no. It's basically just a free squirrel, but yeah. Can I buy those? Okay. Let's focus on the top sigil. By those, it's found by those who are greedy. <gasps> Found it. Whenever a card with that sigil is played, you can pick whatever you want from your deck. Found by the pale. Found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily. I want to make sure I read this uh, just to, just to make sure. It's found by the Alexa. What does P A L E spell? P A L E spells pale. Yeah, the middle sigil is. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not good at spelling. I had to double check. The middle sigil is found by those who are. Uh, not, not those who are, but the pale. The 
bottom sigil is found by those hard of hearing or who hear too easily. I don't know what that sigil is, so I'll come back to it later. Maybe it means the waterborne sigil for pale. I, I don't know though. That one duplicates. I'm not sure what that one does. Maybe it is this one. This one is by those who hear, who are hard of hearing or hear too easily. Maybe it's the duplicate one, like gossip sp spreads and all that. The waterborne sigil. Nothing. Maybe they switch? No. Found by the pale. Found by those hard of hearing. Or hear too easily. Wow. Um. This one's interesting. Unless the greedy one is, uh... Unless that's the greedy one. In which case, wow. But no, I, I really believe it's that one. What does it mean? Let's drop down. Somewhere around here where we can read about the sigils. Perhaps. But those. But the. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. By the pale. possible. If it represents Leshy, then it's gonna be a camera themed one, so maybe this. Oh, right, but this, the middle one is pale. No, didn't work. Huh. This is interesting. Let's see if we can find... Let's... Actually, these are the bone ones. Let's see if we can find... That sigil. The... Also, I don't see the growth sigil, like the fledgling sigil anywhere. So, like, on, on the safe, I mean, it, it wasn't there at all. I don't see... 
the skull sigil. Anywhere. Well. Do we not have any cards with it? Let's add one more to that. I'm not seeing anyone with that sigil. None of the cards. Oh! Here it is. Be sacrificed. Uh. Can't be sacrificed. When. Gol. Wait, what? When Ruby Gollum perishes, oh, uh, I, I, I get it now. Ruby Mox is created. Like earlier, when we killed that thing, and I was like confused. It turns out the other Mox just moved forward. But this, in this case, it would have if this if that card had this, it would literally have turned into a Mox. Found by the pale, found by those who hear too easily. It's possible that this one is the greedy one. But I'm not so sure. Well, let's look for the other one. The one that's kind of like where where is it where is it that's it's not here this is kind of interesting to me you know um oh these both cost one but that's a zero one i mean this is a zero two but that costs two energy this is a zero one that costs energy, and we're all we we always have energy. Well, almost always. That's probably too many. That's probably way too many. A zero one that generates an energy. Let's get a couple of those. Uh, that was probably a mistake. But like I said, I'll do all the deck fixing off camera, and, and uh, the rest of it I just gotta deal with. Any mistakes I make. Where is the symbol that I'm thinking of, that I was seeing? Um, unless it's the fledgling one. But, uh, oh! It's like a, it's like a down arrow. At the end of the owner's turn so whoever played the card gravidding gravidigger oh gravedigger will generate a bone oh my gosh you're the main centerpiece for Bone built decks, aren't you? By the pale, by the greedy. Uh, wait, that one is the bottom sigil. Those who hear too easily. Okay, then my other idea. My other idea is greedy turns into a ruby mox. The pale, the greedy 
Okay, maybe it's the pale that I've got wrong then. Bound by the pale. But I can't figure out what it could be. So I still think it's that. Bound by the greedy. In that case, it could be that. And those who... This one I think is accurate, but found by the pale. I might just be overthinking this one again. Top sigil is greedy. I've got to stick with what I know. And I, I, I seriously think that it's this. No. Bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily. Water sigil, you know? Water affects sound, but that's too real. I don't have any better ideas. In which case, we should just be able to cycle through. But nothing. Found by the pale. This one is tough! Hang on. Okay, there's no... No! That's the flying sigil, or at least it's close to it. But if that's the case, which one were to go on? We've cycled through quite a few combinations here. The greedy. That one makes a lot of sense, but these two... The middle central is found by the pale. The bottom central is found by those who are hard of hearing or hear too easily. Cycle through all of them. Okay, uh. We'll use this one as our base. Wait! The bottom sigil is found by those who are hard of hearing or hear too easily. Now, I could be going way too deep, way, way too, uh, too deep into this. That is possible. But it's an interesting puzzle. This is a really interesting puzzle. This one was the bottom one. I, 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 I might be overthinking it. The bottom sigil is found by those who are, who are hard of hearing. It's found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily. Top sigil is found by the greedy. The middle sigil. I, I swear, if I'm overthinking this, I'm not surprised. The middle sigil. I can't relook at this. Oh, that's so clever. The 
middle situ- Wait, if that's right, then I can just cycle through. But if it's not right, then... Well, crap. Okay, I just... Oh. Okay, yeah, I just overthought it. Wait, that doesn't seem right. I'm clicking left, but it's moving right. I'm clicking right, but it's moving left. But this one, it works like it should. This one's backward, it feels like. Ah. Uh, this one, too. I click right, and it moves left. This one looks, feels like it moves right. Uh, correctly. I'm so confused by that. This is trippy. Magnificus, we will be back. For now, I'm gonna go shout Slashy over and over. <laughs> Seriously. Um, Magnificus, you are an interesting fellow. Wait a minute. one it's, he's looking for, so now we just need to get more of them. Can we afford any? I mean, I I know we did a little overkill on one of the kids, on one of the, well, I guess they, they might not be kids, I mean, one of them was literally impelled through a sphere and wasn't bleeding to who knows how long he was there. Hey. Wonderful! Okay. Can we get a grave digger here? Doesn't look like it now. Interesting. Okay. Mr. Magnificus. That is a very interesting puzzle. talking about the picture we took of this, which would be greedy, but in which case magpies die, it's still, you play a squirrel and you, or you play a card with that sigil. I had a very impressive deck with that on squirrels. <laughs> and you draw whatever card you want. It's, it's interesting. Does each group have different currency or am I just crazy? Yeah, I'm just crazy. Okay, good, good, good. good. Just wanted to make sure. It's... it's a confounding one. Let's have a round, shall we? Don't worry, don't worry, I know. Alright, one, two, two, one. With nothing incoming. Squirrel and dying cat. Two energy for a... Is that the leader role? And a flying raven. How much energy do we start with? Just one. Take the first three damage. And now we have enough. Sacrifice to play to gain a rabbit. If you 
you have the leader role, like I think you do, then what I'm about to do is going to mess someone the floof up. Two damage, two damage, one damage. Uh, uh oh. That's a two one incoming. That has more health. I think we'll keep you. And we'll sacrifice you. Uh, yeah. No, I could be absolutely crazy, but if that adds any damage, it doesn't. What does the plus one? Maybe it's to our energy or something. Resources. Four energy. I've got a lot of it. And you'll generate a pelt. What are your stats? You're a 1-1. One, one. For four energy? Dang. There's no one here you'll remove from the board. Except for you. But I also don't want to take an extreme amount of damage, so removing you would be nice, but if I do, you're just going to send in a 1-1 one, one and one-shot mine. Still, it reduces the damage I take. It's probably the best choice I can make. Oh my! Don't kill me. There is no shot. How much energy I got left? Just, just two. What about playing that? Ah, oh, it just doesn't. It, I just don't have enough. Wait, I'm still alive. And I'm already- I'm back up to six. It's like- what? What? Five energy. For a one three. You've got more health. But you regenerate yourself. But you're still on the board. You won't KO it, but... I need damage to keep myself alive. St 
you up. No! That was a still. Still, that was a good round. That was actually a really good round. Let's try that again. And this time, let's pray for some more luck. We had a good early game, but as time went on, we slowly degraded. You're a one blood cost that generate a rabbit. You're a one. Oh! Mantis God, we have him. We have him. Okay. Then here's how we do this. We've got one energy. We need to pull out all the stops right now. You do zero damage and you can take a hit like a champ. Let's try to avoid you needing to take the hit. I want to keep you on the board if I can, just so we have more death fodder for later. Sorry, or a sacrifice for later. You go on the board. One, two, take him out. Which will counter your one damage. You need six energy for that, but it would it would be so nice. But we've only got two. Got two health as well as a plus one thing. You're gonna come in with your zero damage and you're gonna counter everything. But that's the only thing that's coming in. We're still going. He's gonna counter. He's gonna counter. He's gonna counter. But he's gonna counter. No, wait! Wait, no! He's gonna take Mantis! Oh, he didn't... Oh. Oh, no, he took what was blocking him from doing some serious damage. I think I see. That's fine. Oh. He's a 1-1. One, one. He's gonna KO. No, no, we 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 win this. We win this turn. KO two three. Set. That's game set. But he hasn't lost. Already did that. Okay. He's sending it up. He's. Ah, oh, the grizzly. This little pest. Oh, he. Yo, wait a minute. You reset my hand with all energies. Thank you. One. And they're all one fours. No, they're all one ones. But that one's got a plus one energy. Uh. I think that's per turn. Honestly, this isn't such a bad hand. The only problem is you've got that who's gonna counter all my strikes. And he isn't even going to get in the way of the Grizzly. The Grizzly's coming onto the field. And my Mantis God is definitely probably dead here. Unless I sacrifice him. Which would go to complete waste. All my cards are energy at the moment, which is really nice, actually. Um, Alexa, stop. I'll try and wrap this up in five minutes then. Oh, what a pest. But it's fine. How much energy have we got? Max. Game seems to be kind of encouraging me in this direction. You see what I mean? 
And I'm s I, I'm still at max energy, by the way. But let's keep it that way. Oh, that's actually not a bad card right now. Oh, that might have been a bad play. That's okay. Squirrel. Keep going. That grizzly's about to die. A one blood cost that blocks tons of incoming damage. There's nothing even coming in on that lane. How is that grizzly still kicking? You would summon a rabbit pelt. That may have been a mistake, but this way, we block the Grizzly, we block that. No! Oh, oh, I'm in danger. I've got nothing to play here. That's a loss. By a long amount. Oh. That was by far one of our best rounds yet, though. We just did not have to stop playing cards.